Hello and welcome to the Writing, Reading, and Language Center's Spring 2023 Orientation. Now here at Tacoma Park Silver Spring, we have some big news for the Writing Center, and that is that we have a new location. We are now located at the Catherine F. Scott Commons building, that's the CM building. We're in room 110, which is on the lower floor. To come visit us down here, we are joined with the Academic Success Center here. So you might notice it's a familiar location if you visited them before. We are in CM, which is at the corner of New York Avenue and Tacoma Avenue. And because we are with the Academic Success Center and we are really two centers in one place, it's worth discussing how our services differ. The Writing, Reading, and Language Center provides skills tutoring in writing and reading, of course, but also with speech that includes public speaking as well as pronunciation. The Academic Success Center, on the other hand, provides tutoring in world languages, which includes Spanish, French, and Arabic. They also provide tutoring in history and economics. Here at the center, we offer a variety of services. We offer tutoring, which is our most popular service. We offer that virtually as well as on campus. We'll discuss that a little bit later on. We have workshops on a variety of topics, including MLA and APA citations, transfer and scholarship essays, and also how to write introductions or concluding paragraphs. We have a food pantry here that's for anyone, no questions asked. We have a computer lab for anyone to use. And we also offer help with learning software, especially with my English lab. So if you're taking a class such as Eli 990, we can help you with my English lab. Let's talk a little bit about tutoring here at the WRLC. In the following slides, we'll talk about ways that tutors can help students what tutors do and don't do. We'll look at some logistics about virtual tutoring as well as in-person tutoring and some general policies that apply to both. First, tutors help with assignments at any stage. Maybe you just got the instructions and you need help understanding them. We can help you with that. We can also help you with brainstorming your topic, outlining it, writing the first draft and revising it once you've gotten some feedback from your professor. We help with any type of writing, reading, or speaking assignment as well. That could be paragraphs, essays, summaries for a reading class, research papers, maybe for a psychology class, presentations for any class at all, and application letters, cover letters, resumes and much, much more. If it involves the skills of writing, reading, or speaking, we can probably help you out. During a session, tutors will listen to your concerns. We want to know why you're here and how we can help. We'll answer your questions to the best of our ability. We don't know the answers to every question, but if we don't right away, we'll try to find the answer for you. We will provide resources and examples for you. It's important to know that we will address content and organization first when we're looking at a paper. That's to make sure that you are doing exactly what your professor wants you to do, that you have the big picture issues taken care of, such as are you following the prompt and are you writing the kind of essay that your professor has asked for? And then we will address grammar and formatting as necessary. There are some things that tutors will not do. We will not find all of your grammar errors, but we will teach you how to find them for yourself. We will not fix your mistakes for you. We will show you how to fix them for yourself. We will not tell you exactly what to write. However, we will enable you to write what is appropriate for your own paper. And of course, we will not write your paper for you. We will give you the skills to write the paper for yourself. Keep in mind, this paper is yours. We want it to sound like you. So we want to make sure that we're teaching you how to write it 
the best possible way. Let's look at some logistics of tutoring now, starting with virtual tutoring. We have two kinds of virtual tutoring. The first is Zoom, which is synchronous, of course. With Zoom tutoring, you get real-time feedback. You can share your screen with the tutor. You can ask your tutor any questions you have. And this is great for brainstorming or discussion. You can work through any tricky issues you have with your paper right there in the moment. We also offer written feedback, which is asynchronous. With written feedback, you submit your paper online whenever you're ready to submit it. You will still have an appointment slot, and the tutor will give you feedback by 9 p.m. the day of that appointment. But you don't have to be there while your tutor is working on the paper. This is great for papers that are long or short, and you don't need a conversation with the tutor. You don't get to have a conversation with the tutor. The tutor will look over your paper. In many cases, they will leave some kind of inline comments. It might be a margin comment. And they will also do a little write-up for you with big picture issues that you need to work on. As I mentioned, focusing on content and organization. We also offer on-campus tutoring. And on-campus tutoring can come in three different ways. The first one is by appointment. And you'd make an appointment the same way you would for virtual tutoring. With an appointment, you are guaranteed a tutoring session here on campus in the Commons building. You should be prepared to either print your paper here at the center or to bring your printed out paper with you. This way, your tutor can most easily help you with that. We also offer walk-in tutoring. Now, walk-in tutoring does not require an appointment, but it does depend on staff availability. So if we have a tutor available when you walk in, we are happy to help you in that moment. We'll probably create the appointment for you when you get here, but you don't need to make it in advance. Again, be prepared to either print your paper here or bring it in with you. Also make sure you bring in your assignment sheet from your professor. Something we're bringing back is the quick question desk. The quick question desk is where you can ask five minute questions about your work. It also depends on staff availability. There is no appointment necessary though. Let's say that you are here in the computer lab working on an assignment and you've been working for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and you realize that you are stuck on a particular grammar point. That is a great reason to come to the quick question desk asking about a grammar point or about a topic sentence fits perfectly within that five minute window. If however, you'd like someone to look at your entire paper, that would be the full tutoring session. So hours of operation here, virtual hours are seven days a week, Monday to Thursday, we offer tutoring from 9am to 8pm on Friday from 9am to 4pm. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. On campus, we offer tutoring five days a week, Monday to Thursday, 9 to 6, Friday, 9 to 4. We are closed on campus on the weekends, so if that's when you'd like to see a tutor, it will need to be virtual. Here are some general tutoring policies for both in-person and virtual. Be on time. If you are more than 15 minutes late without notification, you will be marked as a no-show. If you contact us in advance and tell us that you're going to be a little bit late, of course, we will work with you. But if you're more than 15 minutes late without contacting us, that's when you'll be a no-show. Make sure that you either submit your assignment sheet or be prepared to share it with your tutor during the session. This is to make sure that the tutor knows what the professor wants you to do. For example, the professor might have given you a specific word count requirement, a specific length requirement. The tutor can help you to meet that length requirement if they see it on the assignment sheet. Keep in mind that appointments are 45 minutes long. The appointments are 
set for one hour blocks, but in reality, they're more like 45 minutes to account for the paperwork that's involved. Of course, if you can't make your tutoring session, please cancel it as soon as possible so that someone else can have that spot in your place. The number of appointments per student per a day may be limited during peak times. This is especially true for midterms and finals week when a lot of assignments are due or when there is a big deadline for an application essay coming up. Make sure you do not wait until the last minute and be advised that you may only be able to have one appointment per day during those times. So I've mentioned appointments a couple of times. We have a couple of different videos that show you how to make an appointment more specifically. This will be a very brief overview. The QR code on the screen, you could use that to access WC Online, which is our appointment software. That is where you will need to make appointments for on-campus Zoom or written feedback appointments. WC Online, once you get there, will look something like this before you sign in. This is where you will register for an account. You will sign in. You will also see, hopefully, different schedules available, whether it's for the WRLC or for the Academic Success Center, which also uses this program. Here on the main page, you can also see our email address, here, wrlc.tpss.general at montgomerycollege.edu. And here on the WC Online homepage, there are a couple of videos that show you how to register and how to create an appointment if you're not quite sure how to do that. If you're having any difficulty with making an appointment, registering, or if you have any questions, please do contact us. The email address here, wrlc.tpss.general at montgomerycollege.edu, and the phone number, 240-567-3888. Both of those will be given in the description box below as well. If you need to contact your tutor for any reason, this is the way to do it, especially if you don't get your feedback from your written feedback session or your tutor said that they would send you something, please do reach out and contact us. We want to make sure you get your feedback and you get all the materials that you need. And of course, any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We want to hear from you. you want, we want you to have a positive experience with us. And on that note, I hope to see you soon here at the Writing, Reading, and Language Center at Tacoma Park.